This is CMAT 2023 Past Paper Solutions to Section 1. Let's go. So the first question says write the numeral 91,000 and the 5 in words. This is the answer for the first question. The second question says to change the numbers below in descending order. Again, descending order means from the biggest to the smallest. So the first number we're going to write is 3,612. Then we're going to write 3,216. Then we're going to write 3,162. And then the last number will be 3,126. Question three, write two and three eighths as an improper fraction. Again, to change a fraction to an improper fraction, we multiply the whole number by the denominator and the numerator. So two eighths are 16 and 16 plus three is 19 over eight. Question four says to divide 622 by 12. Long division, I'm setting it up like this. You could have done short division as well. 12 into six is zero, 12 into 62 is five, 12 times five is 60. I'm gonna have a remainder of two, bring down my eight. 12 into 28 is two, 12 twos are 24. So the answer is 52 with a remainder of four. Question five says eight square plus six square, we must know square numbers, 8 64 plus 6 square, which is 36. And this is going to give us 100. Question 6 says to round 15,296 to the nearest 1,000. Again, when you're rounding off to the nearest 1,000, you need to look at the hundreds digit to see if it is a less than 5 or 5 and greater. And in this case, it is a less than 5. So the answer is going to be 15,000. Question seven says, Max ate five cherries, which were one ninth of the total number of cherries he picked. How many cherries did Max eat? This question is asking us to calculate the whole. So to do so, we're going to flip our fraction and we're going to multiply by five and we're going to get the whole to be 45. So the answer is 45 cherries. Question eight says to write the total value of the bills and coins shown. So here we have 20 plus 20, 40 plus 5 is 45, plus 1 is 46. So we have a total of $46.05. Now this is how we write 5 cents. Now if you wrote it the other way, this is going to be 50 cents. So this is not going to be correct, okay? Question 9 says to calculate 15% of 120. So we'll write 15 over 100. Multiply by 120 over 1. And there are several ways we could have reduced this question. This zero could cancel the zero. Then I can say 5 into 10 is 2. I can say 5 into 15 is 3. I can say 2 into 2 is 1. And 2 into 12 is 6. And I'm getting my answer to be 18. Question 10 says write the digits in the squares below to create addition. The question says, write the digits one, two, three, and four in the squares below to create an addition problem with the largest sum. Now, if I want to create an addition problem with the largest sum, then I'm going to create the two largest number that I can get from these four digits. All right, so definitely I want to start with a four will be one of my starts, three will be one of my starts. See, so I can either use 41, or 42, or 32, or 31. So these are the two largest number we can form with these digits, the largest two digit numbers that is. And then I add, I'm going to get 73. Question 11, it says a part, let me say that again, a part of a calendar for the month of April is shown below. So it means that part is missing. And the question asks us on what day, of the week is the 2nd of April. So part is missing. So if Monday here is the 10th, then Sunday would have been the 9th. The Saturday before that would have been the 8th. The Friday would have been the 7th. The Thursday would have been the 6th. Here would have been the 5th. Here would have been the 4th. Here would have been the 3rd. And see, Sunday would have been the 2nd. So that's what we had to do. So the answer is Sunday. The question asks us what day. The total mass of a pineapple and a pawpaw is shown on the scale below. The mass of the pineapple is 2.75 
kilograms. What is the mass of the purple in grams? So if they give us the mass of one and the one the mass of the other in grams, we have to subtract. So here we have 3.5 kgs. We have to remove the weight of the pineapple 